My name is Anne Mulderry, and I just spent a day in New York City. It's March of 2011, and I spent a day with friends that I made 10 years ago, almost 10 years ago. They are people who lost someone on September 11th, and they came together in a group because they recognized that each of them held in their heart the wish that the world would not continue thinking that the answer to making peace and justice is war. That maybe we could come together and say, look at the history, people. It doesn't work. Other things do work. And if there are enough people saying that other things will work and proving it, because there's proof, we will make a difference. And the way we suffered, which is the way humanity has suffered since forever, the way we suffered, we could help make a world where fewer people suffered like that. Now here it is, almost 10 years, and there are moments indeed when there's discouragement. And then you spend a day with people who won't allow discouragement, who say it's important that there are voices saying what we say. We know more people are listening than we will ever guess at. And I would say that even this morning, a young mother came with two children, and she had never been involved with our group, and she had just recently heard about us. That young mother who lost her husband on September 11th now has a group of people who she doesn't have to explain anything to because we know and we understand. And she shares the desire to see a world where other solutions are arrived at. So, you know, at 75 years of age, <laughs> at this moment in this city that my son loved, I am filled with hope for the world and for me and for the two little girls who came with their mother this morning and for anybody who's listening to this, you know, keep your chin up. Keep saying it. Don't say nobody hears. You don't know who hears. So just keep saying that this is what you want for the world.